हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मयूर सहायता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ केस केस डिस्कशन ऑन अ फेशियल नव पाल से सो लेट्स बिगिन अवर टॉपिक विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पेशेंट 58 ईयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट कम टू द ओपीडी विद द कंप्लेन ऑफ ड्रिबलिंग ऑफ द सलाइवा सलाइवा इज कमिंग डाउन फ्रॉम टू द राइट साइड ऑफ द माउथ वाइल ईटिंग एंड हैविंग ऑफ अ डिफर्मिटी ऑफ द फेस ऑल्सो yeah one side there will be no movement on the another side there is a movement deformed face and he also gave the history of the fever and the pain behind the ear few days back that means the patient also having a uh, i think a viral fever uh, would be there in the history so now answer the following questions so according to the next pattern yeah into the theory examination also they need to ask a questions with the case presentation not just a directly uh, theoretical question but a case will be there on the basis of that case they ask the different types of questions so such type of a history on which there is a problem with to the face facial muscles so it redirects us towards the which nerve so which nerve supplies the muscles of the face that's a facial nerve seventh cranial nerve so it means the facial nerve must be affected so if they ask the question what is the probable diagnosis in this case or they ask a diagnosis in this case so you can write it facial palsy or you write the bell's palsy what is the crystal clear difference we will see in this video later on now the second question enumerate the branches of the facial nerve so you must remember the 11 branches of the facial nerve so facial nerve motor nucleus is there facial nerve is a sensory nucleus is there in which lacrimatory nucleus superior salivary nucleus and nucleus tractus solitarius yes, there are four nucleuses of the facial nerve then facial nerves come out from the pontomedullary junction then goes into the inner ear before just there it gives one branches greater petrosal nerve the first branch then it goes into the inner ear then it goes into the middle ear into the middle ear it gives the branches to nerve to stapedius the second branch the third one the which is for to the anterior two third of the tongue taste sensation that is the corda tympani branch so three branches you have just remembered then it comes out from to the stylomastoid foramen and it gives a posterior some branches which there is branches the fourth branch posterior auricular behind then here also it gives a two branches for two muscles which two muscles now for to the posterior belly of the digastric and now for to the stylo hyoid so that's how another three branches we will remember yeah so that becomes posterior auricular then now to posterior belly of digastric and now to stylo hyoid perfect for the stylo hyoid muscle now uh, it gives a two divisions and then further five branches So three plus three six and now five branches. Now what are these five branches? Just don't mug up and uh, through the direction of the fibers you just remember the name. The first towards the temporal, yeah. Then towards zygomatic bone, zygomatic. Then the third one there is the buccal. Then the marginal mandibular and towards the neck there is the cervical. That's how five branches: temporal, zygomatic, buccal, marginal mandibular, and the cervical. That's how you just remember the. 11 branches of the facial now and enumerate them in the case presentation okay fine now the third question difference between the lower motor neuron and the upper motor neuron lesion so always remember into the motor pathway there are two levels of neurons one which start from to the cerebral cortex and then it ends into the nerve nucleus and from to the nerve nucleus and reaching up to the effective organ so that's how from to the cerebral cortex to the nucleus and then from to the nucleus to the effective organ now according to that uh, if lesion is between the cortex and the nucleus then it will be the upper motor neuron lesion and if the lesion is from to the nucleus to the organ then there will be known as the lower motor neuron lesion so first we will understand the different levels of the lower motor neuron lesions in the lower motor neuron lesions also there are different levels so first of all yeah what are these levels are so first you just remember if the nerve is damaged at the level of the stylomastoid foramen then it is known as the bell's palsy what are the features in the case of the bell's palsy here uh, there is a damage on to the right side 
So what will be there? Same side because lower motor neurons when they come out, they do not cross anywhere. They supply to the same sides. So that now fiber supplies these facial muscles onto the one half of the facial muscles. So these are orbicular is a you should say occipital frontalis is also affected. So these wrinkles will be lost. Then the eye eyeball these uh, orbicular is ocular muscles are affected. The eyeball will not close properly. Then when they start to speak something or try to express the facial expressions, it will deviate towards the normal side. Because there is a no movement onto the affected side, so the face will be directed towards the opposite side. And this orbicularis oris muscle will also be affected. So there will be, if we ask the patient to close the mouth properly, then this will not able to hold. And the dribbling of saliva during the chewing. And if the person tries to chew the food, then chewing also facial muscles help. If these muscles are paralyzed, then food will accumulated over here and. Uh, so that a uh, person will also the food accumulation will be there dribbling of saliva is there fine so these are all the characteristics of the bales palsy when it is a damage at the level of the stylomastoid foramen i will also uh, help uh, you to see into the 3d image also here also facial now is uh, you can see here this one is the yeah so this is the facial now which is, is the internal acoustic uh, meatus is there and uh, then it comes out from to this uh, stylomastoid foramen. Here there is a styloid process anterior side and behind there is a mastoid process. Between them there is a stylomastoid foramen and from this uh, stylomastoid foramen this facial now has been uh, coming uh, out. Perfect. And here you also can see different different uh, nerves branches from to the facial uh, nerve. So uh, now what we need to understand more about the lower motor neuron lesions. Always understand it depends, clinical feature depends on the level. So here in this case only features are facial muscles features. They have not said as any other features. But what can be the different features? So remember the coda tympani nerve is actually uh, we can say is coming here and if the lesion is above the coda tympani then what will go the further though you can write uh, these all facial muscle related features will go plus there will be loss onto the anterior two third of the tongue taste sensation okay fine then uh, above uh, above the you can say now to stapedius yeah if now to stapedius is passing and above that lesion is there then what will be the clinical features so you should say Bale's palsy related facial muscles problem plus taste sensation problem and the third extra feature will be added hyperacusis. What is hyperacusis? So always remember now to stapedius supplies the stapedius muscle. What is the function of the stapedius muscle? To take out the stapes from to the oval window to take out and when it will take out stapedial reflex will be generated when there is a so much noise into the surrounding is there and uh, we don't want to stimulate our uh, oval window much and much so this uh, muscle will pull out this stapes from to the oval window that is the reflex stapedial reflex is there and this now to stapedius will uh, execute this reflex so if this nerve is damaged above this uh, level that nerve is damaged then this stapedial reflex will be lost and hyper patient when there is a so much noise patient will hear even much more yeah so hyperacusis will be there the third that symptom is will be added and if the damage is above the greater petrosal from where this ganglion is there and from ganglion the nerve is starting and if the damage is above the greater petrosal nerve then what is the function of the greater petrosal yeah it is the fibers reaching up to the lacrimal gland yeah onto the orbit lacrimal gland so lacrimation will also be lost so that's how uh, in the case you just uh, read the symptoms what they have given and according to that you just uh, uh, predict what can be the level of the damage of the facial now. Okay fine. So only and only facial muscle problem it's a Bell's palsy. If plus one taste sensation above the coda tempani. Even more uh, hyperacusis is there uh, above the level of the now to stapedius. And if lacrimation is also lost then the level of damage is uh, intracranial and before the greater petrosal now is originating. So that's how these are all the things are actually lower motor neuron lesions. Now tell me what is the upper motor neuron lesion. Upper motor neuron lesion means from to the cortex to the facial nerve nucleus into this pathway whenever there is a damage that is the upper motor neuron lesion. 
So under the motor neurons, there are two levels. Now, uh, here you can see, under the facial nucleus, there are two parts, upper part and to the lower part. Always remember, this upper part having the bicortical representation. What is bicortical representation? Means this upper part of the facial now motor nucleus, which is present into the pons, is receiving the fibers from to the same side of the cortex as well as from to the opposite side of the cortex. But if you see the lower part of the nu uh, nucleus, then it receives only and only from to the opposite side of the cortex. So what will occur? If you see, uh, there is a damage onto the left side of the cortical fibers. Yeah, cortex to these uh, facial now nucleus. Then what will occur? If left side uh, cortical fibers from to the facial now nucleus is affected, then there will be the loss of a facial muscles movement onto the opposite side and lower part only. Okay. So because uh, the upper part is having the bicortical representation. So if the clinical features are like that, uh, the person is having the face, uh, facial muscles problem onto the right side lower part, this, uh, they will not say lower part, but if they will say that the person is a normal, your wrinkles are uh, present and this uh, orbicular is uh, ocular muscle is this eyes closer is uh, proper. So you just remember that if these two symptoms are given, that means it's a upper motor neuron lesion is there and that too onto the opposite side. Because the left side regulates the right side of facial nerve nucleus and right side cortex regulates the left side of the facial nerve nucleus. That's clear. So now uh, in our case, uh, the whole one half of the face is paralyzed. That's a lower motor. Okay, fine. But if only right and lower part, then it is a upper motor neuron uh, lesion. Why? Because this facial nerve nucleus upper part is having the bi-direct, bicortical uh, representation. Now you also need to remember some another differential diagnosis, actually Ramsey hand syndrome, yeah syndrome when it contains more than one symptoms, in which there is a herpes zoster when affects as a geniculate ganglia. So it's also uh, one type of a lower motor neuron. But in the Ramsey hunt, the level of a damage is at the level of the geniculate ganglia. So if the geniculate ganglia is affected, that means all the things will be affected, means Bale's palsy related symptoms will be there. Okay, fine. Then uh, sensation onto the taste sensation will be lost. Okay. Hyperacusis will be there. No to stapedias is lost. Loss of lacrimation will also be there. And uh, these vesicles con generated onto the auricle also. Okay, fine. So, uh, but in our case, uh, these all other symptoms are missing. Hyperacusis, loss of lacrimation, everything is missing. But the patient was having the history of a fever. That means most of the time facial palsy also follows the viral infection so that too common okay fine so i hope you all have understood this case presentation our this type of a case discussions and everything we also regularly do in our application also yeah in application we have recorded videos also we provide all the anatomy course yeah for the 12 plus 2 months in just 2000 rupees because discounts are now going on a 60% discount is available. So just in 2000 rupees you will get all the recorded videos as well as the live videos for the two times. So do subscribe and to our channel and purchase the course from the link given below into the description. Thanks for listening.